السلام علیکم ابھی ہم کریں گے جی آپ کی چیپٹر الیون کی لرننگ چیکس جو کہ پیج سیونٹی تھری پہ ہیں سو فرسٹ کوشچن از ڈیفائن دی فالوئنگ ٹرمز پاپولیشن پاپولیشن ڈینسٹی پاپولیشن ڈسٹریبیوشن اینڈ مائگریشن رائٹ ہم اس کی ڈیفینیشن سب کی باری باری دیکھتے ہیں رائٹ right? جی تو فرسٹ کوشچن ڈیفائن دی فالوئنگ ٹرمز پاپولیشن پاپولیشن ڈینسٹی پاپولیشن ڈسٹریبیوشن اینڈ مائگریشن دا فرسٹ تھنگ از پاپولیشن 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 از دی ٹوٹل نمبر آف پیپل لیونگ ان این ایریا ٹاؤن سٹی پروونس کنٹری اور دا ورلڈ You see, population can be of an area, of a town, of a city, of a province, country or the world, right? Next is the population density. Population density, the average number of people living in an area of one square kilometer is called density of population of that area. One square kilometer is the basic yard, basic measuring tool of the population density. That how we do we measure the population density? Okay. How dense is the population? Then um, we take the average number of people living in an area of one square kilometer is called the density of population of that area. Then is population distribution. The pattern of where people live is called population distribution the pattern of where people live the pattern of where people live is called population distribution the next and the last is migration migration means it is the movement of people from one place to another movement of place from one place movement of people from one place to another once they move permanently from one place to another place it will be more appropriate if you want you can uh, say it is the permanent move of the people from one place to another uh, it will be okay even if you write it is the movement of people from one place to another but it will be good if you write that it is the permanent movement of people from one place to another Okay, the next question, it is very simple. Why is the population density not the same in all the provinces of Pakistan? Population density is different because people like to live in different places for different reasons. The reasons, uh, I think this uh, question will, uh, answer will be enough. But if you want to explain more, you can have, uh, you can say that people li like to live in different places because of their jobs, because of their atmos because of the atmosphere of that area or in fact it is the liking of the people or the requirement of the people because of which they li like to live so it's very simple that if you write the population density is different because people like to live at different places for different reasons i think this question uh, this answer should be enough but you can have a different answer but this is just a guideline okay then is Look at the map of population and distribution on page 72. Locate the densely populated cities of Pakistan and list them in your notebook. I'll uh, give you two maps and with the help of that you can just locate and then you can uh, note down the um, cities which have bigger population in Pakistan. There are so many cities uh, starting from Peshawar, Kohat, uh, Nushaira, Rawalpindi, um, Jhelum, Gujarat, uh, Gujramala, Lahore, Okada and so on and so forth. You can write so many cities. I'll just give you two maps and with the, with the help of that you can just write down uh, and then you'll remember. Okay. First is this map which is given in your book. This gives you the population density of map of Pakistan of 2017. This red, if you see this red gives you the population density this is the highest density right over 800 over 800 people living in one kilometer 
and then this play these places these places these places the way i said these are the places in khaybar pakhtunkhwa peshawar nashara kohat etc and these are the places uh, like islamabad and going on to jhelum gujarat lahore and up to karachi right so this is another map that i'll give you and if you want to you can take the help of this map and then you can say that these are the cities you, if you can remember many cities you can remember which are having bigger population these are the these are most of the cities big cities in pakistan have been given in this map you may like to have this map and you can just note the n- name of the cities okay okay now going over to the next question that list the problems for from our overpopulation in pakistan we have to know that what are the uh, problems in pakistan because of uh, too much of population or the overpopulation okay i'll give you a few of the problems if you can remember even these problems that your answer will be good enough problems by the overpopulation that first is basic necessities like food clean water housing sanitation hygienic living conditions are not available to everyone then less people have chances of employment and then migration to big cities you see the, if people will start migrating from villages to the uh, big cities then there will be no agriculture uh, uh, there will be no people to do the agriculture work uh, and then we will be having shortage of food so these are the basic problems of the over, because of the overpopulation and and if so many people come from uh, villages to the cities then cities are overpopulated and they are congested and there are so many problems that increase okay so if you can just remember these three that will be good enough answer okay. next is so now we go to the next part which is the filling the blanks uh, in fact these are not a simple words that you will be um, writing here there will be a few parts of sentences that you will be writing here uh, this just to give you a hint you may even differ from what uh, answers i am giving but this is just a hint and i think uh, they to be good enough because i have uh, consulted your notes uh, n- uh, note oh, sorry and the textbook and i think this will be good enough let's see if you like it or not a census is what a census is a method for counting the people a method for counting the people living in a country right it's important to have census because it gives information for planning it is important to have census because it gives information for planning it gives informations to whom it gives information to the government for planning okay the rate of population growth in pakistan is high because people in villages want to have more helping hands they want to have more members of their family so that they can um the extra people or the more people can help them in the farms or looking after the animals and other is the internal migration that uh, migration from villages to the cities then is a thinly populated area is one what do you think what is a thinly populated area it's simply it is a um, thinly populated area is a pla- place where number of people living in uh, one square kilometer is less so we will write that number of people per square kilometer is low a densely populated area is where number of people per square kilometer is high and density of population is measured by number of people per square kilometer per square kilometer right with this we come to the end of this exercise i hope uh, it has given you fair answers uh, if you like our videos then you can subscribe us or if you have subscribed us already then you can like us and you may tell your friends ke ji wo bhi aaye is pe hamare join kare hame taake unka bhi fayda ho sake aur hame bhi sawab mil sake allah hafiz